One of the things that we find when we look at the entirety of the universe of cities today is that they are expanding. Humanity is engaged in a certain transformation of itself into an urban society. People have decided that instead of living close to the land, they want to live close to each other. So we're all banding together in cities. That banding together is the urbanization project. It's a project that started around 1800 and will finish by 2100 when all the people that want to live in cities live in cities. This is why it's a window of opportunity for us. Between now and 2050, two and a half billion people will be added to the urban population of the world. We can prepare for that. We can make some minimal arrangements for that to happen, especially since we know where it will happen. Making room for urban expansion does not involve massive financial, human, or political investments. All that needs to be done now is to acquire all the land for key public works. And by that I mean an area for an arterial grid that can carry roads, public transport, and key infrastructure elements, and open spaces, large and small, that can be kept from development. All we're talking about is land that will take up less than 10% of the expansion area, that's all. Doing it now is the only way to do it, because doing it later, after development has taken place, is impossible. It is impossible to cut a road through a built-up area, and it's impossible to create an open space in a built-up area. Either we do it now, or we don't do it at all. We believe that cities need to make real projections about their expansion to understand really how much they're going to grow, and then to make room for that expansion. Making room matters because it ensures that there's enough land for the city to expand. And being intentional about urban expansion makes cities more equitable, makes them more efficient, makes them more livable, and makes them more sustainable. There are some exemplary plans of cities that have made room for their expansion. The best example is the Commissioner's Plan for New York for 1811. That plan expanded the built-up area of the city seven times. Now, the thing that is amazing about New York that by 1900, that 1811 plan was fully built. And then New York created the plan for another seven-fold expansion of the city. And that time, that area filled up in 35 years. Now, when you think about this, sevenfold and sevenfold again, these people planned for a 50 time expansion of the city. And you ask yourself, where did these people get this vision and why did we lose it? Why are we not doing it today when there are still cities that will expand six and eight and tenfold in the coming decades? We at the Urban Expansion Initiative are trying to emulate the commissioners in their 1811 plan for New York. We're looking for visionary mayors, mayors that can shape the futures of their cities with a set of simple actions that taken now can ensure a better city for generations to come. The Urban Expansion Initiative is all directed to getting things done on the ground. It's an action program. We're interested in putting stakes in the ground, real markers that can shape and guide the inevitable expansion of cities. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The urban population of this world is going to more than double. 
it may even triple before the end of the century. We can be inviting, we can be accommodating, we can make preparations, we can organize. We have to make room for the people who are going to be coming. If we want to deal with cities, we have to deal with them now before the urbanization project comes to an end. <laughs>